Hello my dear friends, welcome to Java programming playlist. In this video, we are going to focus on the multidimensional array that is there in Java. So we have already seen a single dimensional array in Java. In this video, we will focus on multidimensional array. So let us introduce what is multidimensional array. So multidimensional array are the arrays of array. Okay, so we can visualize this as a grid in which the first row is one array and if we connect uh, many such array one after another, we say that that is a multidimensional array. Each element of a multidimensional array is an array itself. Marks in the previous example that we have seen in the video of one dimensional array was a 1D array and if we put many such 1D array all together we say that it is a multidimensional array. So multidimensional array starts from 2D array that is two dimensional array. So 2D array can be created as follows integer then we have two square brackets. So for single dimensional array we were just writing one square bracket for multi dimensional we require multiple brackets and in the same line for 2D array we require two brackets. The name given is flats which is equal to new integer then 2 com 2 and this 3 square bracket 2 and square bracket 3. So what this says is that there is a 2D array of two rows okay plus three columns in each row. So that means your first row will have three columns. So that is nothing but a single dimensional array of three length three and then you have two such arrays of length three. We can add an element to this array as follows. So if you want to access the element we have to use it like this zero zero. So this is the zeroth row zeroth column. So if you look at like a grid then you have this first element as 0 0 and we are trying to assign a value 100 then 0 1 101 and so on. We can add element to this array as follows. So this is the row 1 and row 2 okay and its index is 0 and 1. So we have already seen in the video of one dimensional array that the index starts from 0. So these things apply on both row and column. So here if there is this uh, 2D array with the name flag of size 2 and 3 then you have two rows so that means you have first row as index 0 and second row as index 1 and each row will have three columns the column 1 that is index 0 column 2 that is index 1 and column 3 that is index 2. And these are the elements how we can access them. So first element is 0, 0. So you can see here index 0, index 0. It is 0, 0. Then this is 0, 1, 0, 2. So 0 through 0 column, 0 through first column, 0 through second column, then first row, 0 column and so on. Similarly, we can have three dimensional, four dimensional and any dimensional array as per our requirement. For three dimensional array, it can be created as follows. So you have three square brackets, empty square brackets, then name, then new, then data type and size of each dimension. So here it will be size of two comma three comma four. Let us look at the example program for multidimensional array. Here we will try to initialize them and use them. So here we have package of engineering funda, public class multidimensional array. It is a demonstration public static void main. Then we have integer base 100. So this base is used for assigning the value to each cell of the grid of that multidimensional array. Then we have this integer, then two square brackets and the name of the 2D array that is flats. The initialization is done with the size 2 comma 3. Now to access one dimensional array, we require one for loop or one loop. For two dimensional array, we require two loops. For uh, three dimensional array, we require three loops and so on. 
here the first loop or the outer loop is used for accessing the row while the inner loop is used for accessing the column so if we go into this i equal to 0 we go into this j equal to 0 then for i 0 j 0 flats of 0 0 will be equal to base plus j so j value is 0 so base value is 100 so it will be 100 plus 0 which is 100 so my value at the array multi-dimension array and the index 0 0 will be 100 then j will be incremented and it will become 1 1 less than 3 yes so it will again go inside this loop so my 0 comma 1 will be 100 plus 1 which will be 101 so my 0 0 is 100 then 0 1 is 101 then my j value will become 2 so 0 2 it will be having the value 100 plus 2 which is 1 not 2 so 100 101 and 102 then this loop will complete and again it will go to the outer loop i will be incremented so i value is 0 now i will become 1 and the same thing will be continuing for i equal to 1 comma 0 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 but before that <clears throat> the base value is incremented by 100 so for first row you will be having 100 101 and 102 and second row it will be 200 and then so on so it will be 200 201 and 202 so this is a two dimensional array how we have initialized it now how we can use it so here the use is shown just for the printing purpose so first we have to go with this i equal to 0 then flats dot length okay so my flats dot length will be having this counter so my flats will have 1 and 2 so the total length of flats will be 2 then for j equal to 0 j less than flats of i dot length so i initially i will be 0 so flats of 0 dot length so its length will be 3 okay so flats length is 2 but flats uh, 0 index length is 3 1 index length is 3 and so on so here this 2 and 3 we have written because you are knowing the size of the array but let's say if you don't know the size of array then you can use this length keyword so what will happen is it will go this way so i equal to 0 j equal to 0 it will print 0 0 that means it will print 100 then j will become 1 j plus plus so it will become 1 so it will be 0 comma 1 so it will print 101 then j will become 2 so it will print 102 so index is 0 and 2 so i 0 and j 2 and so on so let us see the output of this program so output will look something like this so it is printing the 2d array and in 2d array first it is printing this 100 which is the index 0 0 then second time this 101 that is 0 1 and then 0 2 which is 102 and then the second row which is 200 201 and 202 so i hope that this is very much clear my dear friends because the concept of array and multi-dimensional array is very much useful at many places in java programming so stay tuned for more videos on java programming on the channel engineering funda